I can't believe that Everton is in our league. They want us to offer Brunt a contract, but we don't really need any more players. All right, the ticket office is confirmed that the club has sold 1,964. That was a great year. Season tickets for the season. The sales figures are encouraging compared to last season when we sold 1,141. So we picked up 800 plus season ticket holders. Let's go. We've come a long way from FM22, where the team, uh, where, where we were barely bringing in like 400 people to watch the games. I know one thing though, I need to update the, uh, All right, updated the save command, so it says it's season four now. I hope it's updated. Yeah, season four begins. And the championship, building up funds and survival is the goal. I'm gonna do my radio voice. I don't remember which one's the radio voice on this thing. All right, Drake, uh, Scott Godin was sent off. Oh, that's good to see one of my people out there. Salford had made a loan approach. They're not paying enough. Cooper is back on training, that's good. Gareth Mabin went somewhere else. No, Charlie McNeil went to freaking Watford. Steven Gerrard. <sighs> he had no hesitation in accepting Watford's over offer over ours. All right, so. <sighs> Y'all got anybody on a uh, loan status? Now, oh, part of your team doesn't even have. They got a big. Uh, good lord, these premier teams have like massive like. Massive, like just everything going on here. Odubeko. All right, let me go back and look at my other dude uh, from Crystal Palace. Who did they loan uh, Raksaki out to, I wonder? They wouldn't let him come back to me. They sent him to Preston? We'll definitely run into him. That's unfortunate. It literally says we require no salary contribution. And then when I try this, they say no. Um, and, and I guess our other boy, I guess the other way I could do this is go to players in range. Let's look for strikers is loan listed. This 
this doesn't seem right. Oh, it takes a lot of them off if they don't want to. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, that was transfer loan. Uh, let's do unsure and see who we can get. Uh, Eder Sedergati. He plays for Campeonato Brasileiro. I don't think that we would be able to get him. Uh, this Max Dean kid, I looked at a number of times. And I know you all want me to go to Blackpool and make a, a deal for Miles Laburn, but I am not going to throw a ton of money at him. I'll do two, let's do 250 and then Well, yeah, we've come a long way on that aspect. But still some of the big name players won't come to us. So All right, they accepted the lone one. Baxter shines as McCootie hits his comeback. Oh, Gary McCootie. I really hope he develops into something really well. So we got a couple of agent offers, but like this kid. But he's too far away for us to even scout. I wonder if I can bring him in for a uh, trial. Let me offer you an egg in these trying times. Gary McCooty. Oh, they won't let him come. All right, yeah, we got to change the team here going against uh, Ipswich. EFL Championship team Drake FC's home advantage gives them the edge of what should be a close encounter against League One club Ipswich. According to 90minute.com, Drake FC went into the season's cup expecting to at least reach the next round and face disappointing. Uh, they're expected to supporters if they do not. Thomas has a terrible record against Kieran Cocky Pants McKenna and hasn't beaten him at all in four previous meetings. Well, thank you for bringing that up. I appreciate that. Um, Coco Flex starting out here. We got McNeely up there. I wonder why this uh, changed all my stuff. I'm 
Probably because I uh, loaded a lot of stuff in. Uh, okay, Rosiak is out there. I'm glad to see him. Shea Charles in Hamilton. India Pan is resting. Harrison Ashby's resting. Max Milburn, I probably need to put him on the bench. Oh, I like this. Game's missed in a row. Okay. Yeah, that that's a good bench there. Yeah, I don't want to go out on the first round of this. That would be quite embarrassing. Everybody I know is like traveling everywhere. Like, everybody needs to chill out. All right, more offers for BOA. I figured that. Sheffield Wednesday is now going after Max Dean. Well, if he wants to go to League One instead of playing for me, then that's his problem. Oh my God. So they want 30% of the next sale and they want 950,000 for him. Yeah, they just want a little too much for Miles Laburn. Uh, Jellico, uh, there's always an embarrassing moment. The biggest embarrassing moment uh, was uh, just me being here. All right, Carabao Cup. Let's see if we can get a W. I'd like to make a good run in that this year. But again, survival in the championship is our number one priority. Greg FC board expects us to win and the fans are expecting us to win. We have lost the last four to them. Though it's been two years since we played each other. Almost two years. So. I'd like to think we have a better team. I was trying to see, I hung up my, my cousin got me a Legend of Zelda shield and I hung it up way up here. But it's not in frame, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to get a bow way. Now they want money from him. I just don't feel like paying right now.
All right, Drake FC Ipswich coming up today. Let's see, anything else you all want to, they want to change everything. Yeah, I'm just not going to put a full uh, squad out here for this. Armstrong Roko Flex is going to be the captain today. Okay, cool. We'll see how that goes. Oh, go Flex! Oh, go Flex! Oh, go. it's like in, P in Hook. Rufy. Oh! We're only charging $16 for this game. I really do want to try to make it to a soccer match this year. I want to go see Louisville play, and I may want to drive up to Cincinnati and see them play. Uh, that's kind of on my list of things to do. I don't know how much their tickets uh, average, though. I'm sure right now they're, like, really expensive. What is it, FC Cincy? Let's do a little comparison right here. Oh, StubHub. That's what, that's what we like to see. Um, single game tickets. Well, these look pretty cheap. It says, well, the, it says from 20. Hey, they're actually playing the team. Uh, it's the Open Cup. Oh, I'll be out of town for that one. Oh, that would have been great. I got to go down to Georgia for that one. Uh, they're playing in the Cup. I guess we're doing like a, the Carabao Cup here in America. Um, they're playing Louisville FC is playing the city that I live in's team. Uh, that would have been cool. Okay, let me just pick one random. Okay, May. So if I click on this game, let's see what they're going to charge. If I want to set. These are actually pretty cheap. 52 bucks to set midfield row E. That's not bad at all. Is Cincinnati the same way? Cincinnati is usually always more expensive. Now, granted, Cincinnati is Major League Soccer and not the second division. So there probably is going to be a difference. But Cincinnati sports teams as a whole... Oh, yeah. To set it the same spot in Cincinnati, it's $178. <laughs> Up top starts at $78. Okay, so maybe I won't be going to Cincinnati. That's, that's ridiculous. The Cincinnati Reds baseball team is the same way. You can go to St. Louis, AC36, and get a ticket on, like, row three for, like, 40 bucks. The same ticket in Cincinnati, for some reason, is like $200. And it's just like, it makes, and it doesn't matter if they're playing a good team or a bad team or whatever. All right, here we go. Uh, rotated lineup for us today here in the Carabao Cup. McNeely, Okoflex, Nick Freeman, our aging right winger. We got Appia Forsen and Bellingham midfield. Jack Tucker out there getting his first start. Max Melbourne, Say Charles, the Loney, Jamie Hamilton, and Michael Rosiak, another Loney. The Jamie coming in goal. They got Martin Sharif, Harness, and Chaplin up front. Five in the back. Davis, Edmondson, Wolfenden, McClelland, and Bernard. Robinson in Houston, and then Southwood in goal. Kieran McCocky Pants is their manager. They are out wearing the red and black. I kind of like that look. We've got our blues and greens that our number one fans wearing behind me. I think we're going to score really early now. We're in the box. Well, 
It's already 1-0 in the first 20 seconds of the game. Is it already time? Is it too early to berate the team? I don't think we've ever given up a goal that quick before. Oh my lord. Yeah, I'm already going to demand more. Corner kick for them. I cannot believe this. Only 4,700 people here for this one. Another corner for them. Obviously, this team I put together is as solid as oatmeal. What's up, Mad Martin? Hello there. You're about to witness a murder. FBI, open up! Defending. Our stupid manager here. They break out to the box again. Cummings got that one, man. It wouldn't be the first. Dun, dun, dun. Another throw in here. So, I mean, they're just coming at us. They're sitting there with five in the back, though. Max Melbourne moves it up to Bellingham. Bellingham over to Paya Forson. Forson dribbles up, crossed the pitch. Plays it up. There's McNeely. McNeely takes a shot. He misses just wide. It was a good attempt, but nothing comes from it. 29 minutes in here. Go in for us. Freeman back to Rosiak. Hamilton back to Shea Charles. Orson. He's going to play it forward. Can McNeely get to it? The speedster is there. He looks to bring it back. Oko flexes there, heads it Southwood with a diving save. Free kick here, Melbourne to take it, sends it in. Robinson comes up with it, and Neely gets it, sends it in there. Freeman couldn't get a hold of it. Harness, he's gonna play it downfield. Bellingham intercepts, Forson. Sends it in, McNeely's in there, takes the shot, and it ricochets in, and we get it back, we equalize. 1-1. One, one. What was that? I hit the wrong thing. There we go. One all here in the 37th minute. Amazing pass. There's McNeely. We brought him in on loan. He pays off here in the Carabao Cup first round. Yeah, he's onside. I was, gonna, I was gonna encourage the team. Oh, Freeman comes up and swipes that away. Play it back to coming. Let's see what we can do here. Charles up to Melbourne. Oko Flex. Up there, McNeely. Back to Oko Flex. Oko Flex turns the ball over. 45th minute, right here before half. Over the top, Hamilton will head it back to coming. And the Drakes put together something here right before the half. Ziak plays it up. He's got McNeely. McNeely takes a big shot at the flex off Southwood. Southwood tries to play it back. It's 1 1 at half. McNeely and Forson playing really well. Nick Freeman playing okay. Oko Flex, he is playing on the wrong side, but he's doing okay. The rest of the team, eh, a little half and half action. Let's point our finger. I'm going to tell everybody to uh, 
go out there and boss it today. You gotta boss it. Uh, this is, we played one game in the championship against Blackpool and we lost it in the 90th minute. This is our first Carabao Cup game and second overall game of the year. So you didn't miss anything. Or you didn't miss much. You missed, you missed one regular season game and then this is a cup game. Robinson plays it up. They try to hit Chaplin. They cut it off there. Here comes Forson. Coco Flex. Coco Flex. Again, he just loses the ball there. And I think it's because he's used to playing on the other side and his uh, little trait dribbles it. Oh my God, that was close. A little bit of encouragement here. Back to Forson. They'll go up to Oko Flex. Oko Flex looking here. Oko Flex back to Forson. Forson up to McNeely. Great move. Takes a shot that didn't make any sense. Forson gets it. They'll cut the highlight off. That's Melbourne back to Shea Charles. Up to McNeely again. McNeely takes the shot at the flex. Southwood will end up with it. Bellin, Houston, play it up. Keep possession, Sharif again. Oh my God, Mark Sharif gets his second goal of the season. Jamie coming. I don't know what he was thinking on that. That was embarrassing. Sixty-three minutes in here. Let's see if we can get another equalizer before I make changes. Bellingham plays it up. McNeely. McNeely into the box takes a terrible shot. I'm bringing Maddie Longstaff. I don't know what it is. We just cannot beat Ipswich. They could be a National League team and they'd somehow beat us. Oh, Sharif almost got a hat trick there. McNeely, McNeely out front, McNeely! Oh, come on. We're gonna have to do something. Only three minutes. Oh, Sharif just picked his pocket! Oh, he tried to get cheeky.
I don't have any options here to. Twelve minutes. Let's go uh, very attacking here. I'm going to demand more. Neely plays it back to Hamilton. Let me go over the top. Can we get a hold of it? Let's go back to Southfield. Seven minutes remain. Eddie Longstaff plays it up. Here's Amari Miller. He's back after his injury from last season. He turns the ball over immediately. Not what I like to see. Robinson. We need, to, we need to get the ball back. They're going to Sharif. He's trying. Coming will block that. 85th minute. Hitting at the people that I really don't want to get knocked out of the first round here, but it looks like that's what's about to happen. Unless we can get an equalizer right here. We turned it over. 91st minute, four minutes of extra time. Up to Sharif. They really want him to get that hat trick. Tucker plays it up. Here's Amari Miller. Forcing. I think we went out early last year in the cup, too. It's deflected. Ninety second minute, ninety third minute now. Can the Drakes find an equalizer? Are they gonna drop two straight games? They give it to Sharif. And then long staff, Tucker, Tucker up the force and Bennett, McNeely, McNeely tripped, free kick. Free kick here. Long staff to take it. Pops it up. Got 30 seconds remaining. And a goal kick to them. That's probably going to be it. Don't waste time. I, well, it's going to happen, Zenus. That's the game. That's it's five straight I've lost against that manager. He just, he always loads the back up and we never can penetrate it. And I know they're going to ask about, oh, Akira in cocky pants, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's got a right to be cocky. He just always beats me. God, we got 10. The Tractor Boys win the Battle of Drake FC Stadium. <sighs> Drake FC lost to Carabao Cup first round after 2-1 defeat. Their early exit will have disappointed a team with Drake FC's ambitions. <laughs> yeah, I said that, AC.
All right, we definitely need to bounce back against Rotherham. We're the favorites, even though we're on the road. I need to find uh insert column promise playtime is what I need to find. I never remember what it's under. Or agreed playing time or whatever it is. Playing time happiness. Is that a work? Um, uh, okay. Marco Rees, we need to make you. Always available for them, and the same for Charmin Low. And I'm gonna make Rocco Rees available for the uh, under 18s, too. Um, hmm. All right, let's see what they're going to ask. Ruby Foley of ITV Sport. What do you got for me? Can you talk about rumors linking you with Aston Villa's Ajani Burchall? I don't even know this boy exists. History has shown that teams can generally stay uh, 50 points. I uh, certainly hope it would be enough. Are you confident of reaching that target? Certainly, we're more than good enough. We made it last year. Why not this year? Everyone seems to think Janelle Bennett will be the difference maker. He's the best player on the pitch. Wow, they didn't... Return the what? I didn't. What? I didn't leave. Why did they kick me out of the press conference? There's a growing discontent at your reluctance to play as you promised in a direct manner. Uh, is it? Uh, I'm not picking a team to be relegated. They're so tore up about playing direct. It's it's standard. Why? Here, I'll go more direct. Maybe they'll be happy with that. I hate that that's a thing that you have to sign on your contract. I will play more direct football. have chat be the board nah that'd be too easy to um 
See, they want me to pay 116000 if this kid plays. Oh, they won't even let me change anything. Well, we're probably not going to get him. Oh, well, no, you all definitely wouldn't, but I'm just saying. Louis Berry. I'm not going to pay his whole salary. You all are stupid. Oh, well, Mateo Joseph got injured. We well, maybe just be playing with who we're playing with. And that's fine. We've got the other window coming up, so, you know, it's one of those things where we just got to survive to midseason. How was your Wednesday? Don't ask me how my life was, phone. All right, Drake FC board expect the team to draw the next match, but think Rotherham would win, and the fans believe the same thing. <coughs> That's great. I'm glad they have such faith in me. It's time to cry havoc and let loose the dogs of war. Bark, bark. Mateo Joseph went somewhere else. Uh, I didn't even think to check my short list. <coughs> I have no strikers. I guess I've got a few. We did okay for a while, but now it's, I, I think we're just loaned out. We've, we've done all we can on that front. I have the coof. I'm coughing. Yep. All right. Rotherham on the road today.
Let's try to go flex out there this game. Need to get Oko Flex warmed up. I have faith in everybody going out there on the field today. Matt Taylor sending out Archer, Eves, Embleton. Five in the back. Brommel, Finson, McCart, Watts, Gardner Hickman. Uh, Rathbone and Barlazer. Oh, Barlazer. Our only change to our lineup is Oko Flex up there and then Jamie Hamilton getting the start today. 78 degrees out. It is breezy. Dean Whitestone, the referee. Again, more red and white teams in this league than I've ever seen before. We get things under started. Let's see if Liam Cohen can lead us to victory today. that Gardner Hickman kid we've I've either played with him on FIFA or here I've also let the team know that failure is an option we always need workers on the sheep farms in the highland I have faith in everyone going out there and pitch day no, I think it was Stephen Thomas did not in fact have any faith of anything that set foot on the pitch that day <laughs> 10 minutes in we've not given up a goal we're doing better than our first game of the season where we give up a goal in the first 20 seconds or in the Carabao Cup, excuse me. Tommy Lay with the ball, sends it out to Talaji Bola. Bola going to play it forward to absolutely nobody but their goalkeeper. You'll love to see it. Oko Flex picked that up. He does. Oko Flex, a side tackle. Bellingham to Bennett. Bennett in the colon. Colon takes a shot. It's blocked. Lay over to Harrison Ashby. That's going to end the highlight. No, it's not. We're going to pick it right back up. Rotherham's going to get a hold of it. Bar laser back to Finson. Bar laser up to Archer. Bramel. Archer again. They'll send it in there. Header over the crossbar. Get some encouragement to the team. We've only had two shots. They've had one. 0 0.03 and 0 0.02 uh, XG in this game. This is a barn burner, let me tell you. Archer down near the box, looks to play it in. He's got a person that's blocked. The defense was there, luckily. The ref's going to call him offsides anyway. Amy Cumming will start this one over to Ben Goodlip up to Talaji Bola. Bola tries to get over the top. It's intercepted. Here comes Rathburn. Archer Eves. Couldn't get a hold of it. Oko Flex heads it up to Cullen. Cullen loses it to Rathburn. Finson. Plays it back, comes down the pitch, bar laser in. Eves is behind, and it goes out. How did he miss that? It looked like he was offside, I think. No, he was onside. It was a great... Oh, my God. Hamilton just destroyed that guy there. Archer gets obliterated. Instantly, I do that. We have a shot on target. Momentum's going their way, though. They've got five shots. None's on target. Here we get a throw in. Oko Flex takes a shot. Johansson's there. I really want him to put that in there. Bola plays it up. Watts intercepts it. Bar laser to Eves. Eves tries to get it up. Embleton takes a shot. It's off the top of the net. 43rd minute here. Eves again. Talaji Bola. Good defense. Pulls it back to Cumming. Cumming's going to launch that one deep. Tries to hit Colin. 
couldn't get it. Tommy Lay couldn't get it. Rathbone up to Imbleton. Imbleton to Archer. Archer loses the ball. They'll get it right back. Archer is through, and Archer's going to get a goal right before the halftime whistle. The same problem we had last year with our defense just not playing the last two minutes of the half. It's like the game engine just, you know, they updated the game engine, but that's just not changed, I guess. It's like the same play over and over. Here's Bellingham. Can Bellingham make a difference here? He charges in, sends it over. We're going to get it back, Janelle Bennett. We'll equalize at least in the extra time right before the halftime whistle. One all. So it was short lived. Bellingham, that's his second assist of the year, I believe, charges in, sends it across. Janelle Bennett picks up his first goal. We'll go in the locker room one one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm glad we had a response. I was worried about the team just being flat. Beware the Ides of March, because the Drakes just don't know how to play soccer on that day. Tommy Lath tries to throw it in deep. Diving header. Bennett gets it. Bennett loses the ball. Maddie Longstaff will chase it down. He's going to play that up to nobody. I'm not sure what that was. Lodgy Bola ends up with it. Lodgy brings it in, chips it over to Tommy Lay. Back to Longstaff. Longstaff tries to hit Oko Flex. Intercepted. Counter is on. Archer down the left. Pulls it back a little bit. Imbleton over to Rathbone. Mel Bennett tries to mix it up. Gardner Hickman. Hickman in. Hickman takes a shot. It's blocked. They'll get a corner from that. I think Gardner Hickman, we played him a lot in FIFA. Header goes over. Old kick to the Drakes. Tommy Lea throw in here. Goes in the Oko Flex. Flex back to Lea. And Oko Flex. They'll send it across. Bellingham puts it in for his first goal of the season. And it's 2-1 Drakes on top here in the 58th minute. Oko Flex. I was just debating taking Oko Flex off, but that is a great cross. Bellingham, who we did sell for lots of money, we got him back, and he makes the most of it. He won breaks. We kicked him in, though. Grandma takes it. It's still alive. Ooh, off the side. No shoot from tonight for the team, even if they lose. I'm saying Oko Flex is wore out, though. We'll make some changes here in a minute. Let's see how this play goes. Ramos is an archer. Should have had a goal there. That was uh, something. Mm. I'll put Freeman in. I got a feeling that Freeman may want to retire at the end of the season. All right, 67th minute. Tommy lay up to Cullen. Cullen looking. He's got it. He's got runners. Pass the ball. He's got Freeman up. Fresh legs. He's old, but got fresh legs now. Sends it in. And the shot was blocked. And a counter here. 3v2. Rotherham. Hamilton is over there. We'll send it in here, Ashby's there. We'll kick it out. And we stop the counter. 
Watford is winning 4-0 in their game. No wonder that one player signed with them. They must be tough. I don't remember which teams got relegated down besides Everton. I figured if we play when we play Everton, that's going to be a thumping. Trying to go over the top. Bennett. Bennett in the box. Bennett pulls it back. Probably should have charged in. Bola. There's Nashby. He's got room. Sends a new call. And Freeman takes a shot. It's deflected. We'll get a corner on that. Got some tired bodies in the back line. Bellingham, Freeman over the net. Ben Goodlow's having a great game, but he is just exhausted. So we'll bring in Andy Pan on him. I'll try Forsen back there. Twenty minutes to play. Let's see if we can hold on to it. We are shifting quite a bit. I'm still trying to figure out the team. They're playing with a relatively wore out squad, which is kind of shocking to me. They're saying Janelle Bennett's wore out, but oh, free kick. Don't give it up now, lads. Oh, Tucker was there. Jack Tucker could be the hero unless they bring it in here. They send it in. We're going to kick it out again. 82nd minute. Praise the team for the last five minutes here. Four minutes of extra time. Throw in for us. 20 seconds to go. I don't know why he threw it to them. Oh, free kick to us. There must have been a foul on it. Cullen takes his time here. Liam Cullen with the free kick. It looks like the Drakes are going to pick up a win here on the road. Unless something magical happens, he's still just standing over the ball. Watford up 5-0 on Huddersfield. That's the game. The Drakes will get the win. Oh, we needed that. After the start of the season we've had, we needed a big we needed a win. Bellingham was the player of the match. All right, everybody's delighted. 